Hi, I'm Chris Dormeyer, here with Fran Ubertini, co-authors of Why Yoga Works and How It Can Work for You. The aim of this practice is to strengthen your back. This is the first of three practices designed to strengthen your back over time. This video prepares you for the following second and third Stronger Practice videos in this series. Starting in Samastiti, stand with your feet together, and as you inhale, raise both arms forward and up. As you exhale, bring them back to your side. Repeat this movement two more times. Next is Parjva Uttanasana. Step forward with your left foot, and as you inhale, raise both arms up. As you exhale, fold forward, soften your front knee as needed. Inhale, lift your arms and chest, come up halfway. Exhale, lower your arms back down. Inhale, and now come all the way up. Exhale, lower your arms to your side. Again, as you inhale, raise both arms up. And as you exhale, engage your abs and fold forward. Inhale, press into your back foot and come up halfway. Exhale and go back down. Then inhale, lift and come all the way up. Feel your back working. Exhale, lower your arms down. One more time, moving at your own breath. Step your feet back together, relax your breath, and wait a moment. Please switch sides. Bring your right foot forward now. Inhale, raising both arms up. Exhale, as you fold forward, tuck your chin. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, lower back down. Then inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, lower your arms down to your side. As you inhale, lift your arms again, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, lower back down. Notice the difference on this side. Inhale, lift and come all the way up, and exhale, lower your arms down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward, tuck your chin. Inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, back down. Last time, inhale, lift and come all the way back up. And exhale, lower your arms down. Step your feet back together again. Rest your breath and wait a few moments. We will counterpose with Uttanasana. Inhale, raise both arms forward and up. Exhale, fold forward. As you inhale to come up, lift your arms and chest. Exhale, lower your arms down to your side. Again, inhale and extend upward. And exhale, fold forward. Feel your back stretch. This time as you inhale and lift up, feel your back working. And then exhale, lower your arms down. Last time, inhale, raise your arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lift and come all the way up, and exhale, lower your arms back down. Come to Samastiti, relax your breath, and observe the feeling in your body. Transition to kneeling, then sitting on your heels in Vajrasana. Inhale, raise your arms and come up to standing on your knees. As you exhale, fold forward, keeping your arms extended. Then inhale with your arms straight, come into Urdhva Mukha Svanasana. Exhale, lower to the ground. On inhale, sweep both arms, lift your chest and legs into Shalabhasana. Exhale, come back down. Return your hands to their original position. Inhale, lift back up. Exhale, hips to your heels, feel your back stretch. 
Now inhale, lift your arms and chest, come up to standing on your knees. Then exhale, sit back on your heels as you lower your arms. Inhale, lift up again, and exhale, fold forward, keeping your arms extended. Inhale, come into the back arch. Exhale, lower down to the mat. Inhale, lift your body as you sweep your arms forward and feel your back working. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale to the back bend, and exhale into a forward bend. Hips to your heels, forehead to the mat. Inhale, lift your arms, lift your chest, come back to standing on your knees. Exhale, sit back on your heels. Inhale, stand up on your knees, raising your arms. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale to the back arch. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, sweeping both arms forward as you lift your legs. Exhale, return to your mat. Inhale, push back up. Exhale, bring your hips to your heels. Inhale, lift your arms and chest one more time. And exhale, coming to sitting on your heels. Now come to your back and rest. Observe the sensation in your back. Bend your knees, let your feet come to the floor, hips distance apart for Dvi Pada Pitam. As you inhale, lift your hips and bring your arms overhead to the floor behind you. As you exhale, lower your hips back down. Inhale, again lift up, feel the front of your body stretch. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift up, tuck your chin a bit and feel your neck lengthening. Exhale and come back down. Please straighten your legs out to rest for a few moments. Next is Urdhva Prasvita Padasana. Inhale, raise your arms overhead. And as you exhale, lower your arms while lifting the right leg. Then as you inhale, lower the leg while raising your arms back overhead. As you exhale, lower your arms and lift your left leg. Inhale, raise your arms back up and lower the leg down. Exhale as you lower both arms back to your side. Next round, inhale your arms overhead. Exhale, lower your arms as you lift the right leg and flex your toes. Inhale, raise your arms and lower the leg back down. Exhale, lower your arms to your side, lift your left leg. Inhale as your arms come back up and the leg comes down. Lower your arms back to your side as you exhale. Last time, inhale, raise your arms up again. Exhale, return your arms to your side as you lift your right leg up. Inhale, arms overhead, leg down. Then exhale, left leg up and arms down. Inhale, arms up, leg down. And exhale, arms back down to your side. Nice. Resting again. Now a final counter pose with Apanasana. Bring your hands to your knees and your knees to your chest. Inhale, move the knees away from the chest. Exhale, bring your knees back into your chest. Inhale, let them go as far away as your arms will allow. Remember as you exhale to slowly and gently pull your tummy in. And as you inhale, let it release. One more time. Now straighten your legs out and observe your back. Relax the body and breath in Shavasana for a few moments.